Twin motion renders are getting better every single update. But with one click, we can make them so much better. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomic and welcome back to the channel. Right now in 2021, I'm a registered architect in the state of Western Australia and I've also been a photographer and videographer for a very, very long time now. So when it comes to creating some absolutely beautiful content and getting the right angles set up in twin motion, I know what I'm doing here. What most people don't actually understand when they see my renders and when they see my work is that the twin motion export isn't all that's actually done. Once it's exported from twin motion, it goes into Lightroom where it gets a few little tweaks here and there to make them absolutely perfect. Now I'm also gonna be giving away these presets to five lucky winners, so stay tuned to find out how you can win some of these presets to make your twin motion renders so much better. Okay, so it all starts in twin motion and it doesn't matter really what project you're using, it just kind of matters what kind of settings you've implemented in twin motion. So I've got twin motion up on the screen here and I'll share my screen in this recording. Basically, what you need to do is adjust your weather and time location to be able to maximize these presets. They have been designed for the generic summer look in twin motion and a few clouds here and there. But then they're edited in the Lightroom to give you a full range of any season for both internal and external photos. So with twin motion open, you wanna move across to the little leaf on the left hand panel and select weather. The weather should be about two of those dots in to create some clouds into the sky. You can move a little bit further to give it a bit more, but don't go too far where you start to see these puddles on the ground because that turns in to winter. So if we move it back just that tiny bit to get rid of those puddles, somewhere about there is absolutely fine. As for the time settings, we usually adjust them ever so slightly down to about four or five o'clock depending on where you are or either 6, 7 a.m. again, depending on the location. We want it just after sunrise or just before sunset, before it turns to that orange ambient look, so the shadows aren't too harsh and the natural light is at its best. When you've set that all up, it's very simple. You just export whatever photo you're looking at and you get your generic exports. So for example, I exported a couple images just the other day, which was of an interior lounge room setting. There was a pool in the background, lots of greenery, lots of different colors, so it made this shot the perfect render to actually showcase the ability of these presets. Now, I've created my own presets here. There is eight presets, two for every season, one for internal, one for external. So for example, there's a winter internal and a winter external. If you wanna get a copy of them, there's a link down below where you can get your copy of these presets today. There's also installation instructions if you're using a different version of Lightroom, but I'm gonna go through installing these presets on Lightroom Classic right now. First thing we need to do is actually import some photos from the Twin Motion exports into Lightroom to be able to utilize these presets. So we come over to library up the top here, move down to import and find the photos you're looking to import. The easiest way for me personally is to find them and just drag and drop straight into Lightroom and that allows you to quickly import them without having to run through all your folders again. So if we import those photos, you can see that they're still pretty good but they aren't the absolute best they can be. So we wanna make them a little bit better. You wanna head over to the develop tab on the top right hand side and open up the presets panel. As you can see, I have absolutely nothing in my presets panel so we want to click add a new preset and import presets once the little finder window comes open you just navigate to where you downloaded those presets packs from my website and you can directly import them you find the first zip folder unzip that then there'll be an additional zip and installation instructions you want to keep that secondary zip folder still zipped so it can import all of those imports at once. So once we've downloaded them, you're gonna be able to open up the presets tab and scroll down to the user presets. The user presets is where you're gonna find all the installed presets from that zip folder. And like I already mentioned, there's multiples of each season. So if we were to take a look at, let's start with autumn for example, autumn interior, if we add that preset, it automatically changes everything to make it look like autumn and it cleans up the internals, it makes them more bright, 
vibrant and a lot more professional and realistic looking. Because this is obviously an internal render, we wanna to stick to the files labeled internal because the lighting is obviously a little bit different. So, so for example, if I was to move across to autumn external, you'll see how all the lighting and the colors in the background change and they no longer look like autumn. That's because the lighting inside and outside for twin motion exports is completely different. Hence why I've split them up into two different categories. Now, one of my favorite presets for this photo in particular is actually my internal winter preset. So if we move across to winter internal, you'll see how moody and dark it gets as if it's cold and you want to light up a fire and just cuddle on that couch because it is now nice and dark and moody versus that autumn preset which was a lot lighter, a lot more vibrant with the trees in the background being more that fall colors, more oranges, more yellows versus those bright, bright greens. Now for absolute maximum contrast, we're gonna move back to the winter internal preset and then jump to the summer internal preset. So you can see that there is a huge difference between these two presets. We go from really dark and moody to really bright with that yellow natural sunlight beaming through and making that whole scene seem so much more warm and inviting versus that cold and dark winter feel. Now, you've made it this far in the video. Firstly, thank you so much for making it this far. And secondly, I wanna tell you guys how you can win all eight of these presets. So I'm gonna be giving away five sets of these presets to you guys. To enter, it is very, very, very simple. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below, one for these digital downloads, and two for all of you guys who are looking to follow me on Instagram to enter this competition. Like I said, there is gonna be five winners absolutely anywhere in the world. It is a digital download. It is absolutely easy to install as you've just seen and so useful for all of your renders. If you're looking to get the best out of your content, make sure you check out the digital downloads below because there isn't anything else on the market that I've found specifically designed for twin motion to make your renders amazing. Anyway, that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some good knowledge out of this and are gonna be able to create your twin motion renders to the absolute best capabilities you can. If there's anything else I can help you with, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I do try to answer as many people as I can. And because it is February, we are doing 28 videos in 28 days. So usually it would be see you next Monday, but because it is February, I will see you tomorrow.